on November 24th, 2019, in the tutorial video that I made called How to Unlock Funny Fish, Not a Tutorial for Treasure, Hashtag Funny Fish, you got a look at my desktop, which was of the Ascensionism logo, which I learned from a Mama Max video. This was before he did all the pedophile stuff. But if you looked at the icons, you saw some pretty basic stuff. An SWF file player so I could play Flash games, 4K video downloader, Audacity, and a few games. One of those games being of this anime character with Japanese text. Now, what could that anime game be? If you were a registered hentai professional, you would know that is the girl from Sojiro Moon, a hentai. And it also says demo because that was the demo for the game. And that icon has been on my computer for almost three years now. It's been there since the Ascensionism logo, the Home Depot background, and even the Call Me Carson background that I have now. And I think it's finally time that we click play on that Sojourn Moon logo. Now before we get on to the story, I think we should talk about the, 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 uh, the merchandise, you know, because where else would I put the merchandise? Fucking nowhere. So going to Wayback Machine of the website because the website was shut down. I could only wonder why. The website has char a characters tab telling you how the white haired girls are Russian, the story tab telling you how the white haired girls are Russian, the download where you can download the demo for the game. And then you get to go to a secondary website to pay 136 fucking dollars for the game. That's funny. And special. Special being the merchandise. Let's talk about the merchandise, shall we? So the first thing that you see whenever going to the merchandise is the book. This fucking book is hard to find. I keep bookmarking it and losing the bookmark. The reason why I keep bookmarking this book is because it actually has the concept art of all the characters. Like how the white-haired girl, the Russian, used to have yellow hair. By the way, I refuse to learn that character's name. And of course showing you that like, oh yeah, here, you can buy CD. The CDs are lost, by the way. Yeah. The CDs are lost, media. I've only found one for sale for like $23. And I've already bought a $23 single of a Childish Gambino album. I'm not doing that again for this unknown fucking hentai. Yeah. But mainly, this mainly just has body pillows, wall scrolls, you know, uh, cards, pins, yeah, pretty much the perfect stuff that you can put up on your wall and make everyone question your fucking mental sanity. But they also have a comic. I don't know when that happened, but they do. They also had some wallpapers as well. That was pretty much all the merchandise it has. It never had any shirts. If you want a shirt, make it yourself. Now, I think it's finally time to talk about the series. So, you think I'm going to talk about the anime, aren't you? You really think I'm going to start with, oh, episode one, you know? Explain, explain episode one. What if I told you that's not where Sojourn Moon started? It's not. Sojourn Moon first came out in 2015 as a visual novel. Pretty fucking crazy, huh? <clears throat> yes, Sojourn Moon it started off as a game. What's even more scary, they could have been chosen as a Smash Bros. character because one of the credentials for a Smash Bros. character is originally a video game character. Besides that joke, yes, Sojourn Moon actually did start off as a game. Now, the digital download version of the game 
yes, did release in 2017, but the physical disc version and the trial version both came out in 2015. The trial version only having, like, four sex scenes, while the full game is the full fucking game, the full 30 goddamn minutes. Apparently it takes 30 minutes. I don't know. Now, we have four characters. Five characters. We have five characters. We have... Tashikawa Koyoshi Oni-san, the candy shop owner. We have Tenka, the black-haired bitch, I mean idol. Whatever, however the fuck you pronounce that, that's the uh, white-haired girl. Uh, and Chi, that's the brown-haired girl. Those two don't fucking matter, apparently. And we also have the brown-haired girl's mother, which has officially shown up once in the entire anime, and several times in the game. Now, was the game good? No, it was fucking not. I never beaten it. Actually, I've just never fucking played it. Because I may have played the demo, but I just didn't care enough. But here's something a fun fact. In 2016, the first episode came out. Isn't that a funny fact? Yep. Now, since the fucking... Since the Tunkin Soft website is down, I can't look at like specifics. But 2016, a company known as Mary Fucking Jane released uh, released it. They released Soldier and Moon. I don't know what day. Again, I don't care. But it was really nice. We had a first episode, uh, basically introducing the characters, and you bet your ass that was more popular than the game. Um, people saw Soldier Moon, how Boku no Piku was saw. One of the most disgusting pieces of shit I've ever fucking seen. The worst part about it is, it was high quality. The other worst thing about it, it's one of Tunkin Soft's most popular things. There was also another, uh, there was a Soldier Moon ripoff called Sojo It starts with a K, I don't know how to pronounce the rest. But, that one wasn't as popular as Soldier Moon. Soldier Moon was popular for being fucking disgusting. And that's pretty much how Boku no Pika was popular too. Of course, 2016, the first episode came out. And, it existed. It sure did. And then 2016, the second episode fucking came out. And everyone was like, oh, great, we needed a second episode. Second episode, uh, the white-haired girl and Tenka both get fucked in that one. Oh yeah, the first one, brown-haired girl gets fucked. A uh, chi, whatever the fuck her name was. Yeah. So then the second episode came out, everyone was like, what the fuck? There's gonna be a third one. Third one comes out in 2017. And this one was of a festival. Because God forbid you don't have the festival episode. Yeah. The third episode was of the festival and lesbian sex. I actually refuse to fucking talk about it. And then the fourth episode was planned to release in 2017. It got delayed. Yes. The fourth episode was delayed and ended up releasing in 2018. How in the fuck does that happen? Yes, so the fourth episode got delayed until 2018. So what you have now is this four part series of these girls getting fucked, getting their brains fucked out of them, you know? Now, do you think this is... Now, of course, I just fucking explained the entire goddamn story. Is there actually any story? No. There really isn't a story to them. Unless the funny fact that it's like goddamn $80 for episode 1 on eBay. I guess that's funny. Or you know, how there's so much lost media relating to it. Let's talk about, um, some interesting stuff. So, for... The actual longest time at the end of episode two, there was a song.
people just dubbed it Tenka Song because nobody knew the name. And for the longest fucking time, people thought that was it. That was the entire song. Like this, like short, like one minute song. What people didn't know was that the game had it. The game had the song. The full version. The full, like, five minute song. And guess who was the first person to upload that song? Take a wild fucking guess who was the first person known in existence to upload the first fucking version of Tenka song. The full thing. This guy. Yes. September 18th, 2020. That was when 00012.wav, aka Tenka song, was uploaded. The entire song. That's because I recently, around that point, I found out how to extract the music from it. Yes. I used a, like, arc unpacker. I think that is what it called. And there it is. The full song. Do I have the original names? No, because I don't speak Japanese. But it's a really nice thing that we now have the full song. Now, of course, this is going to be a little short history video because I... There's, like, no history to this. There's none. There's not a single piece of history to Sojuro Moon. Literally, what it was was... It started off as a game, and then it became a series. The fourth episode got delayed, and then the full version of Tenka Song was uploaded by me. That's it. Oh, by the way, not only was the full song released, the instrumental was also in the files as well. Under 00003.wav, the instrumental of the Tenka Song, which I find really funny. But no one cares about that. We care about 00012, <laughs> Tenka song. Also, if I see a single goddamn comment saying that I- Oh, you said so Drew Moon wrong. I couldn't give two pisses. Okay? Deal with it. So Drew Moon will always have a- Have a, a place in my heart. For being... The most funniest shit that Corbin Burbank made. It's been... On my desktop for three years, sitting there on top of Carson's fucking face. Soldier Moon has never left me. And I think, I think people should care about it. Soldier Moon's important. Without it, life would be even more normal. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Where are the people to say, should you fact so germ <laughs> Where would not a speedrunner be today? You know? Not a speedrunner is the only goddamn person who actually still cares about it. <laughs> and of course, I'm pretty sure the last biggest thing that happened with Sojourn with me was probably uh, how I told you how to extract the files to the game. Yeah, that was 152 views right there. But I think the new biggest thing that's gonna happen with Sojourn Moon is this video right now. This history video will never be forgotten in our hearts for being one of the fucking strangest anime. From the first episode, where we saw Oi-chan's candy shop, to the last episode, where Tenka wished the summer could last forever. It was a beautiful hentai. And if they ever make a fifth one, there should be death in it. Uh, I actually sort of had a running joke where um, Sojourn Moon 5 would be called Sojourn Moon 5, cold-blooded, coming this summer. And literally all it'd be about is like the girl, like the Sojourn Moon girls coming, like coming to, coming back to the candy shop with like, like uh, guns and shooting Oi-chan and stealing all the candy and they would just fucking murder everyone <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why I always thought of that shit I think it'd be so funny I, wa I want that to exist now 
I want someone to make Sojourner Moon 5 cold-blooded. <laughs> Sojourner Moon Black Ops 3. <laughs> That's what it should be called.